So the video conference kit is a pre-built feature rich component which enables you to build the video conferences into your app in minutes and it includes the business logic with the UI. You can add or remove the features accordingly by customizing your UI components. So if you are the type that consider the speed and efficiency as your top prior, I recommend this to you. And also you can customize your UI features as well. Less than wasted developing those basic features. And these are the embedded features, the multi-adaptive audio conferences, the adaptive video layout, the customizable UI. And very soon they will be implemented the live test chat and also the conference join notification as well. So for a quick start, as usual, you need to get our dependency installed. That's the Zego UI kit pre-built video conference React Native. And also we need to install the other dependencies as well. The Zego UI kit React Native, the React Delegate component, and also the Zego Express engine as well. So I'll copy that and need to install it via your terminal. So once you have that installed, you need to go to the Zego Cloud admin console and get your app ID and the app sign of the project. So within your console, you need to create a project for your app and you need to select a use case for app. I'll choose the video conference in here and click on the next button. So we need to give the project name. I'll give it a name of video conference app. And also proceed with the UI kit. So it will start creating your video conference app project. So once your app project is created, you need to start building your app. And with the framework selection, we will build for React Native in here. So I'll choose React Native. And also proceed to save and start to integrate. So in here, we have access to the app ID and also the app sign. So let's proceed. So the next step is to import our Zego UI kit pre-built video conference dependency and also render it over here. And we need to pass in the app ID and the app sign. So I have my project created in here that I've already imported that and also render the Zego UI kit pre-built video conference. So in here, we need to pass in the app ID and the app sign of the project. I'll explain this later on as we move. So I'll just pass in the app ID from the projects we just created and also the app sign. So with the project folder structure, starting from the app.js file, I just created two files, the home screen and also the video conference within the screen folder. And also you need to install the React navigation for routing between screens. You need to get that installed and also the native stack, React navigation slash native stack. So we just create an instance of that and return our navigation container. So in here we created two screens. The first screen is going to be the home and the next one is going to the video conference. So within the home screen, you need to create an instance of the navigation for making routing between screens. And I also created a function for navigating to the video conference page. And that function is going to use the navigation and navigate to the video conference page and pass this additional information, the user ID, the user name, and the conference ID. I also proceed to create state for getting the user ID and also the conference ID. And that's from the use state and also setting the user ID and the conference ID to a random number within the use effect. That's basically used for rendering side effects in functional components. And I also create an instance of the inset from the use safe area inset just for some styling purposes. So basically in here, we are returning a test showing the user ID, random user ID, and also the conference ID and also the test input with the placeholder to enter your conference ID and we are setting the conference ID 
we take in the test in here and use some regular expression to restrict the user to enter any single character that is either a digit between 0 to 9 or a lowercase letter between a to z or an uppercase letter between a to z or a period or a plus sign or an underscore we also provide a mass length of 4 to the input and also passing a conference id value so below the input is going to be a button first of all make a check if the conference id length is equal to zero you are going to disable the button and also passing our styling and the title is going to start a conference so once the button is pressed you are going to call a function on join conference press that we created at the top and that's going to navigate to the video conference page so within the video conference with us where you are assessing the user id the user name and the conference id from the params and rendering the zigo ui kit previewed video conference here and just passing in all that information so these are the default stylings i'll put the code down below so you can have access to it so let's give it a try so in here we need to configure some android permissions so i'll copy that in here and paste it within the android.xml file android manifest.xml file so within your android project within the app project the source directory the main you can see the android manifest.xml so you need to paste in these permissions and just saving the changes So once you have that set up, you need to also open the ProGuardRules.pro within the app project and just paste this in. So I'll copy that. So with the folder structure, you can see the ProGuardRules.pro. Yeah, and just paste in this and save any changes. You also need to do same for the ios so i'll copy this code and that should be found within the ios folder the info.plist file so within the ios folder you move on to this folder we have the info.plist and copy that to the dead part and save any changes i think that's pretty much it let's get it's up and running all we need to do at this point is just run and test our app so let's get into it so as you can see we have a random user id generated in here and also within the input you have the conference id that we also generated random you can customize it as well and can also start a conference so you can click on the start a conference button and that will navigate to the video conference page you can see the basic features that has already been built for you you can decide to mute yourself and also turn off the video you can also decide to check the members available as well at the top there that's pretty much it so if you find this video to be useful and interesting consider subscribing by hitting the bell icon see you in the next tutorial until then stay tuned